people. So this week in Come Follow Me, we talk about David and Goliath. And I think this is a very popular Bible story about how David has to fight this giant, and it just seems like a really difficult thing to do. And in our own lives, we might have things that are kind of like Goliath. They just seem so difficult, and we can't see a way to overcome the challenge or beat that thing. But with our Heavenly Father's help, just like David, we can find a way to do it. And I think that's what's really neat about this story is about how much Heavenly Father loves us and wants to help us to overcome our difficult challenges. So let's get to drawing. So let's go ahead and start drawing. I want to put David on this side, and I want to put Goliath on this side. So to start Goliath, I'm going to draw a big circle, and this is going to be his shield, and I'm going to do that about here on your page, and we're just going to do a big circle, and this is for Goliath to hide behind when people are attacking him. So we got this big circle here, and Goliath is a really big, intimidating, scary guy. Now we're going to draw another circle smaller inside of here. So I'm just going to put this circle in here and maybe I want to put some other things that maybe look like bands or something. Maybe they hold the shield together or maybe they're just there for decoration because people like to decorate things. Now we're going to do Goliath's body. So we want to create a square that kind of comes off the side of this because we want it to kind of be hidden a little bit behind the shield. So I'm going to go out here, maybe start here, and then I can put some dots here to help make my square, and then maybe go a little bit down my shield and put another dot here, because then I can create a straight line here, and then I can connect it to my shield like that. So it's kind of like there's a big square connected to the shield. And then for his... Um, clothes that go on the bottom half of him, his warrior clothing, it's going to kind of go behind the shield too. So maybe we need to go a little ways through the shield and go down here at the bottom. And we're just going to go down just a little bit. And then we're going to match that over here on this other side. And you can use these dots anytime you want to to help you to know where you're going on here. Now we're just going to connect this across the bottom just like that. And then I want to put some lines in mine for his warrior clothing. And I'll show you why I want to do that. Let's just go across the bottom. Because now I'm going to do like a frowny face or a U that connects to each one of these lines. Just like that. I think that makes a fun design for his warrior clothing. And then maybe you want to give him a belt too. So we'll go up here on his body and we'll just draw a line across right here. And you could put design this belt if however you want. I'm going to put some circles in it. I think that looks fun. You can do whatever you like on yours. And now we're going to draw some legs on him. Let's go all the way to the outside right here and draw a line straight down and make this skinny little leg. But it's going to get bigger, I promise. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it looks like he's got these two really skinny legs, which looks kind of funny. And now I want to draw another one on the inside. So you just kind of want to go a little bit in and draw another line that follows your other line and maybe go just a little bit further down than your first line because we need to draw some feet that go off the side of this. So let's do that again on the other side. All right, so now for his feet, you can start on his heel right here and just go out like that. Maybe you want his feet to go out this far past his leg because your toes stick out past your legs. And then we'll do that on the other side. And then we can connect his feet by connecting this line to the end of his toe. Um, I'm going to draw a little rectangle underneath his feet to kind of show where his sandals are. So this is just a really long rectangle that goes under both of his feet. And then to help make it feel like sandals, we can put some straps on it maybe if we want. Maybe there's a part that goes on his heel, make a little triangle on both those. And then we can make what looks like a leg bracelet by doing a couple lines across here 
All right, so now we're gonna go up and we're gonna do Goliath's head on this big, really tall guy. And we're just gonna do a big square up here. And this is gonna be his head. And I'm gonna put a big square right there. That is Goliath's head. So now we're gonna decorate this and we wanna give him a cool helmet. So I'm gonna do a, a, like a frowny face, big round helmet on top of his head like this. And then if you want to, you can put a band on it by doing this down here and making another line. And you can decorate this helmet. You can put circles on it. I'm gonna put another two stripes up here on the top. And now let's start working on his face. But let's just start with his nose. And then from there, I'm going to give him a beard. All right, so now let's do some eyes. There's lots of different ways that people draw eyes. I'm just gonna kind of draw some ovals here and you can put them close together or further apart. Everybody has different looking faces and then maybe put some little eyes looking down. So I put him down in the bottom of the oval cause then it just looks like he's looking down at somebody. And since he's taller than most people, he probably looks down a lot. And then you can give him some mean looking eyebrows if you want to by just doing some lines so let's put some ears on him. Ears just go on the side. You could start maybe at the bottom of the helmet and just make a half circle on either side there. And then you can give him whatever expression you want. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of a frowny face because it makes him look a little bit scary or intimidating. So the next thing I wanna draw is I wanna draw his sword. I'm just gonna draw a long line where I want my sword to be. On this bottom part, we're gonna make it turn it into a long rectangle, just like that. And now to create the rest of the sword, we can just go and make two more lines, one on each side of it, and then we're gonna connect them in the middle and make kind of like the top of a house. And he's gonna hold it right down here. So I'm gonna draw his thumb first, and I'm just gonna draw a square right there underneath it on the side of the sword. And then for his fingers, I'm just gonna draw three fingers on him for his fingers. All right, so now to draw the rest of this, we need to connect his arm to this sword. So I'm gonna start on his shoulder and I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna take one from the shoulder and I'm just gonna connect it to the sword right there. And the other one, I'm gonna figure out where his hand is. And so I'm gonna just take another line and I'm gonna go just there like that. And now if you wanna give him a little bit of an arm sleeve, you can by just drawing a line right on there. Now we need to go over to the other side of our page and we're going to draw a smaller guy named David who went to fight Goliath. So I am going to draw this square right here. All right, so now we're going to draw his body. So just like Goliath, we're going to draw a big rectangle, but we're not going to put it behind a shield because he didn't have a shield. He only used what was called a sling kind of like a slingshot, but not like what you think of a slingshot today. But it was a device that he used that he could move around in the air and then to throw a rock, he'd let go of one half of it and the rock would go flying off at whatever he's trying to hit. So now we've got these two parts. You can leave a little gap in here because then it kind of looks like the squares looking up if you want to. So now we're going to draw his legs. So just like Goliath, we're gonna draw a couple lines down. And I'm just gonna draw these two little legs sticking off here. And then just like him, we're gonna make them bigger again. But to make them look like they're pointed different directions, you can do this. This one's gonna go all the way down and make a rectangle. And then this one, if I don't wanna put a foot on it, if I don't want if I want to put a foot going out, I can just go down most of the way and then leave a little place just like Goliath where I can do a line across the bottom and then I can connect it just like that. But since we're looking at the back of him, maybe we don't see the front of his foot. So we're just going to leave it as a straight rectangle like that. And then we can decorate just like Goliath sandals. We can do the same thing. We put rectangles down here for the bottom of his sandals. Put little triangles here. 
maybe a rectangle across there because that's on his heel. And then put on his toe straps. We can put on his leg straps. All right. So now he's standing there and he's looking up at this giant. He's getting ready to go. So let's draw his arms. But to do that, we can start by just drawing stick figure arms off both sides of him, just kind of going down and just create a little rectangle on either side of him. And now to make it look like he's holding this sling that he put the stones in, we can draw two lines coming down. This is going to become his hand right here. So we draw two lines. These are the, the ropes or twine or whatever you use for the sling. And then create a little bowl on the end of it. So we'll draw a line right across and then do a U underneath it. And so inside of this little U, he can put his stone inside of there. So you can draw whatever kind of stone you want. Now we can draw a couple other things. We can draw some fingers on here. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line across here and then just put some lines in it. And that looks like his fingers. You could put a thumb right here by putting a little box right there off to the side to make it look like he's holding on to that. And if you want to, you could even maybe look, make a finger or a thumb coming off right there to look like the other hand. And now let's put some arm sleeves on him. So we can just draw some lines in here like this and like this. And if you want to give him a belt, you can put one of those on here. So we've got all this done. Let's go back up to his head and let's add some details. I think a fun way to do this is we could give him a headband. So we're going to go a little bit off the top of the head down here and we're going to draw a line and then do it again just a little bit below that one. Now to make him look at like he's looking this direction, we can put a little nose right here off to the side, almost like it was an ear, just put a little circle and then it looks kind of like he's looking that way. And then for his hair, we'll make it so we can see a little bit of his face here, but then this area all the way over here, this is gonna be his hair. We can put some lines in there and decorate it however we want. Or we can add a little bit of extra hair here if you want to make it look like it's flipping out. So that's his hair. So now he looks like he is all ready to go face off against Goliath. So let's go ahead and color this thing. So I'm going to get this brown color to color a lot of Goliath's armor here because maybe it's leather. Yours doesn't have to look like mine. The drawing doesn't and the coloring doesn't have to look the same. If you want to, you can also pause this video and go back and you can re-look at how to do anything in here if it helps you or come up with your own stuff. But I'm just gonna pick some parts for this that I feel like would maybe be leather, which is something that a lot of people would wear back then. And just make it brown and do that on both these guys. But you could pick purple or blue. Maybe I'll do some of his helmet, this brown color. And maybe I'll do David's hair brown. I don't know what color his hair was, but I'm gonna do some brown on here. All right, and now for some of the metal, maybe make it look like there's some metal on his helmet. Maybe I'll use some of this yellow and fill that in, but maybe you could use some orange or silver or whatever you like, because this is your picture and I think it's fun to see what kinds of stuff is in your imagination. Maybe what I imagined isn't what you imagined. And if that's the case, you can change it and do the way that you like it, which I think is really fun. Now I'm going to color David all in yellow. It's fun how you can use different colors in different places for different things. So I think I want to use a little bit of brown for his sling too. And now I don't have any dark brown or any other colors, so I'm just going to do some blue on Goliath's face. Because I could maybe do black there, but maybe I wouldn't be able to see his frowny face if I did black. I'm just going to fill it all in blue. I think that's kind of fun to do. 
And then we'll do some red. I want to do some red for Goliath's shirt. So I'm going to fill this all in with some red. Maybe I can grab a blue again and color some of David here for mine. And then we have this sword here too of Goliath's. And I've got, I don't have a gray. Sometimes we don't have all the colors we want, right? But you, you can draw some of this and I'm gonna use purple, but you can skip parts of it and create lines in it. And sometimes that makes things look like they're a little bit shiny. And now if we wanna add just some extra decoration, I think it's fun to just like put some ground on here. So if you wanna put some grass on here, you can do it lots of different ways. And then you can maybe even draw some lines up and down just to show some little bits of grass here and there. It can be really fun. Or maybe you can put some flowers there. Who knows? But I think this is really fun. I think it illustrates the story. It can show how big and scary Goliath was. Sometimes we have big and scary things in our life. But I think it's really neat how David knew that he could do really hard things, like go up against Goliath, because he knew that Heavenly Father would help him if he did what he asked him to do or followed his commandments. All right, so this is my finished picture of David and Goliath. I want to show you some that some other kids did. So right here we can see some other ones, and you can see how they all look different. And a lot of these are done by kids of different ages. But you can see these are all decorated even different. They didn't even do all the same things that I did. And that's okay because this is their story. This is their imagination. And so I want to show some of the things here. You can see that all of these shields, they look different. You know, they don't look like my shield. This one has like a star on it. But I think they're all cool. They're really fun to look at. I think it's great that they don't all look the same. And some of them, they even added like a sun in the sky. This one has like a grrr going on here, like he's a little bit angry, which I think is fun. Um, and I really like this Goliath here, where he looks like he's so angry, and you can even see steam coming out of his ears, and he's all red. Sometimes when people get angry, they say that they feel really hot, and maybe that's why in cartoons a lot of times you see smoke coming out of somebody's ears when they get angry. And then, but I think one of the cool things about this is everybody just has this really big Goliath and you have this little David. And sometimes in our life, sometimes things just seem really big or we have challenges that just seem really, really hard, just like David had. But David prayed and he followed the Lord and he saw a way around it and he saw a way that he could deal with this problem that he had. As we follow the Lord and listen to him, he can help us to deal with the Goliaths in our life or the hard challenges that we had. Anyway, I had a lot of fun drawing this with you. I can't wait to see you again next time. We'll see you later. Bye.